Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. I clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for April 2nd to the 14th. For April 2nd to the 6th, uh, this is what we're forecasting the pattern look like. Basically, we're going to have a trough here over the eastern and northeast Pacific, trough here in the west, and we have above normal heights anomalies across much of this region here with um, a trough near or along the west coast. And we go to the 6, we don't see much change in this pattern. Okay, um, first of all, I want to take a look here. This is the rainfall map of down in the Southern Plains, Lower Mississippi Valley over the last two weeks. And I don't know if you, this is not a very good map showing it, but I just want to give you, uh, get the bearing straight. This is Memphis right here. Um, Knox Hill, Cincinnati, it's really hard to read, but you can see the rain here is approaching the, um, the red, five, five to six inches maybe, three to six inches, and it's going to be more rain, and we're going to go through this. Uh, you can see we're going to have a low and cold front here that would be marching eastward, and I'm going to show you this now. This is 8 a.m. on Tuesday, on, on Thursday, I'm sorry. And it'll spread rain and snow across this portion here. There's a possibility of heavy snow across portions of the northern central Rockies. That's the GFS. Here's a European, kind of less precipitation. And then we go to 8 p.m. on Thursday. Then we go to Friday. The, the front starts pushing into the Mississippi Valley. Still some snow here on the backside mixed precipitation with rain and then it continues eastward and the precipitation becomes lighter as it moves east as the front weakens again that's this is by saturday the fourth that's the gfs here's a european so this is an area uh, that doesn't need any more rain in addition uh, we're gonna have a series of southern stream systems that will move to the southern plains, interact with moisture and a frontal boundary. And this will bring pockets of heavy rainfall uh, for um, from Texas to the Gulf Coast. So I'll go back here. This is Saturday, Friday, Saturday. And then we're on, on Saturday, 8 p.m., Saturday, Sunday, 8 p.m., and then we go to Sunday 8 p.m. And then we go into the weekend. We see there's periods of heavy rain that move into this region here. Also, you can see that we have um, the west will remain unsettled as moisture and Pacific systems move inland. This will bring periods of snow to the mountains, valley rains through the period. Okay, we're going to look now at the period for um, April 7th to the 11th. And we have a ridge that ne remains near the Aleutians, trough in the west, and nearly zone of flow with above normal heights in the east. We still have our strong positive height anomalies here across the northern latitudes. So this is how we expect the pattern to look like. This is the GEFS. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures for the west. I'm going to forecast the numbers near 46 degrees below normal above normal temperatures are forecast east of the Mississippi River and the forecast in numbers near two degrees above normal for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation here the probability of occurrence is 35 percent and then you have above normal precipitation from much of this area here that don't need rain especially across this region uh, probability of occurrence is near 40 percent Looking ahead for the period for April 12th to 16th. Little overall change is expected, but you can see, however, some of the models are pushing this ridge or this trough, like the GFS, uh, spreads it out, becomes more broader here into the plains of the Mississippi Valley. But overall, we have a ridge here and above normal heights near Greenland, above normal heights in the east. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting 
little overall change in the temperature anomalies and for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation for this region probability of occurrence of 35 percent or 35 to 40 percent and we have above normal precipitation across this region and the probability of occurrence is 35 percent that's the long range weather forecast discussion for april 2nd to the 16th thanks for coming to Monley's world of weather and have a good day